Hey guys, I'm so glad you're here. I brought you a thrift haul. My thrifting started last night. Actually, I went after work to the Goodwill, which I don't like to go to very often. They're a little higher than, than I like to pay over there. I'd love to donate over there. I do donate mostly at the Goodwill because I kind of know, you know, that they do good work and I, and I appreciate what they do. So I love donating over there, but I don't like their prices there. I don't like the way they set prices for one thing. All the blouses are five or whatever. All the dresses are ten. And I always feel like, can, uh, you know, they're a little overpriced. But regardless, I was itching for some thrifting. So I went last night and I got some cute stuff. Uh, I got this top over here for my daughter. Let me show it to you. How do you like these screens I got? got these at the garage sale yesterday, five bucks a piece. I got two of them. One of them's going upstairs to my daughter's room, but uh, right now I thought I'd uh, use them for my hauls. Anyway, so she got this little uh, corset type plaid shirt. It's got a built-in bra. It's by um, Fashion. Darn it, I need the glasses. Let me put my glasses on. I hate when I can't read these labels. Oh, okay. Fashion magazine. I don't know, but uh, it's cute. It's got adjustable satin straps Yellow plaid. She liked it And that's that. Okay, then we got I got this neon sweater I was wearing this color the other day in a long sleeve top and I was wearing it to bed because I like to bathe in moisturizer and then I'll put on a long sleeve top or you know like a cotton top and I was wearing this color, and my husband said he liked it on me. So I found this little cardigan, and this one is by American Eagle Outfitters, uh, you know, a popular brand. And it's a cotton neon green. I really like it. It's kind of short. And, um, you know, I just like it for all year round, really, because sometimes I go, when I go to church, at the church, it's often very cold. And I always have to bring a sweater with me. And... You know, I work in scrubs, so I don't really get to wear that much, that many dressy things. But uh, I love cardigans. I love having them on hand. And I do love this this neon, I don't know, chartreuse, I guess it is. Oh, and it's brand new with the tag, so I didn't mind paying whatever it was they charged me. I think they charged me 6 at the Goodwill because it was marked 40 So regular price, $45 or $6 at the Goodwill. Then I got these awesome little pajama pants. They are, they say on them that they're made in Texas. And that's where we're at here in Houston. It's even got a little leather um, logo in the back. And it's got all these cowgirls on them. And I love pajama pants. I'm in them right now. Uh, because they're just comfy. And, and I just love, you know, once I change into my pajama pants, I know I'm going to relax. So, uh, yeah, they've got little names on them like Belle and... Uh, Jenny and Jenna and they're just so cute they even got a little Mexican girl here uh, named Rosa Rosa isn't she cute so I really really like these cowboy themed pajama pants and I think she let me have these for four I don't remember something like that alright then I got my daughter a couple of uh, back to school stuff this is from the Gap it's a uh, a little, um, I guess like a tweed looking, but it's it's a stretch spandex skirt. And it's got just a little bit of a twirl skirt at the bottom. And this wasn't too bad. I think this was like $3.99 as well. Then she got this cute, well, I got it for her and she liked it. It's a velveteen um, jacket. It's sort of like a bolero fit on it. So, um... And it's really soft. There's no lining, so it's just like a little top almost with two black buttons on it. And this is from another obscure brand I've never heard of. What did I do with my glasses? Hold on. Here they are. Okay, this is from Limes. Never heard of that brand. It's got a really nice uh, sort of a smoker's jacket lapel on there. And it's a really nice uh, velvet. It's not a cheap velvet. I hate cheap velvet. It feels so nice. It's uh, I guess it's a velour, whatever, you know, the difference that it that makes. But it's called velour, I believe, and it's really soft and nice. Love that. 
Okay, what else did we get? Oh, I got, so that was all of it from the Goodwill as far as clothes are concerned. Like I said, I'm going to try to break up the video a little bit and show you the other stuff in jewelry and whatnot. Then I got, let's see here what we got. Today I went to four thrift stores. I started with one that's a church-based organization and the, I've known the lady a long time and we were talking today and she was uh, thanking me for going to shop at her little shop before I went to the big one down the, the road because um, she was saying that you know they've, they've been hurting for business and stuff and because uh, they're a small place and uh, the other place is huge so um, and she was even saying that she donates some of her stuff to them because they don't have the room for it like for furniture and stuff and uh, she works for it's it's based with uh, a hospice organization so they're often uh, given whole households house the whole house full of goods is just donated to them after that person you know is deceased so I found these little slacks that I absolutely love they're purple and black they have sort of a satin purple lining on the inside now everything was half off at her store today so it was a good deal but this was the place that you have I had to watch myself because I started loading up the the basket and then I realized you know some of this stuff is already a little bit overpriced so I put some stuff back but these were marked 20 so I got them for 10 and I love them I was almost going to grab this Oscar de la Renta but it wasn't the real Oscar de la Renta it was like Oscar whatever from you know JC Penny. it was Oscar's line for you know the masses so I put that one back it was like a purple satin top but I thought it was just way too you know matronly and, and just a little bit too almost uniformish for a woman under woman over 50 or whatnot so I'm gonna top this with just a black tee a tight t-shirt and I'm gonna wear this with it maybe a belt we'll see we'll see I hope they fit they're, they're my size but you never know things fluctuate sometimes all right excuse me while I take a little sip of my beverage All right, what else we got? At the same store, I got this little number. This is from Billabong, and this is like, I guess, a surfer brand. You might, you might be familiar with it. I got this for my daughter. I don't know if she'll like it. If she doesn't, I'll put it on Etsy. Uh, it's crocheted. It's really, really pretty. It'll look great with another tank under it or over another thing. She was telling me she doesn't really like to wear things over. She'd rather wear something under. But um, we'll see. And then it cinches here at the waist, and it's brand new. You can tell that it's never been worn. Um, it's, it's an expensive brand if you're familiar with Billabong. Uh, it's a young surfer, you know, skater type uh, brand. And uh, it's a really pretty lavender lilac color. I really like this. Another thing I got there at that store is this Guess dress. And I'm not too familiar with all of the Guess labels but I'm thinking this may be from the 80s or 90s rather than 90s because I know they had that that other more simple logo my glasses are stuck in there that was like a triangle and this is uh, a little different their label here it's a little bolder and this was also half price oh this was she let me have this for two today it didn't have a price and like I said you know we're friendly and she She's cool, so she gave me some good prices, and um, she I spent fifty something dollars there, so she was letting you know, she was working with me. Um, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's got lace here. It's got a bow and even a little charm. Another bow over here. It's got a huge bandeau embellishment here with uh, some chiffon. It is, it is silk. The label reads silk and uh, polka dot. And I would think it would be tea length. And I don't know. I just couldn't resist it. What did I pay for this? Did I say 20? 10? Uh, oh my gosh. What does it say? 12. So I got it for 6. Not bad for a guest dress. And uh, my daughter's going to love it. She hasn't seen it yet, but I'm sure she's going to love it. But, you know, sometimes I buy her things, and then they just stay in the closet. So then I'm just like, uh, hey, uh, bring it down. It's going on Etsy. You know, you've got so much time to show me that you're interested in it. And if you're not, I would much rather be told the truth, and I'll stick it up on Etsy, and it'll go real fast. So, um, but it is a lovely dress, and it does have a zipper, 
very, very lingerie-like, but it's not. It is a sexy little dress. Cute, cute, cute. And I know she's young, but, you know, she can, she can sport it without looking trashy, you know, because she's still, you know, if she was a 38D, I probably wouldn't let her wear it. She's, she's not there yet, so. All right, then I got this silk scarf from them as well, a dollar. It was in a $2 silk. It said silk scarves, $2 in the basket. But then they had some scarves that were outrageous. They were like $12 in, in another rack. But anyway, I got this one because I like to do my scarves up on my head. And I really like the, the long, narrow scarf because I can do a lot more with them on my head. I can put bows on top and whatnot. And let me see. What did I tell you I was going to do? I was going to do... I was going to do purses and clothes, is that correct? No, I was going to do clothes and jewelry. Oh, let me show you this. A couple of things here. These scarves are silk. Well, this one is not silk, but this one, well, maybe it is, I don't know, but um, it's made in Italy. It has a made in Italy tag, and that's why I fell in love with it. Anything Italian is mine. I love Italian fashions and uh, you know they roll as far as I'm concerned it's a cute little butterfly motif pink pretty as ballet pink then this one is also silk and made in Italy and uh, I love this one to tie on a purse to wear on my head but I really really think it'll look fabulous on a purse just tie it on the corner and um, I think I have the perfect purse. I'll show it to you when I show you the purses to put that on. Okay, one more dress. This dress came from the last thrift store I went to. Um, I paid a lot for it for a thrift store, but it is brand new. Well, it looks brand new. It's dead stock. But this brand is Jessica McClintock for gunny sacks. Now, I used to wear gunny sacks, the peasant dress, you know, the... What is that? Like the milkmaid look, I guess. I don't know. But we did it in the 70s, and it was all sundresses and ribbons and flowers and, you know, just really cute stuff, and it was from Gunny Sacks. Then Je Jessica put her name on the label as well. And uh, then she went all formal on us. And I think this is probably from that first foray into formal wear. And uh, this is a 7-8, so it doesn't quite fit my youngest yet. Uh, I almost thought about wearing it for um, Mother of the Groom because, you know, we wear blue. I don't know. Not very many people have heard of that tradition, but down here in the Southwest, we do it. And the girl from Chicago that he's married that I love, she's absolutely fabulous. She's never heard of that tradition, but anyway. But it is really, really frilly, sort of a, um, it's tool, and it's the softest tool you'll ever feel. It's just lovely, and it's ruched and all the way the around the the waistline it's probably a little bit way too young but um, I don't know I just don't know because I may wear it I'll have to see how I look and feel in it or I'll give it to my daughter and I can have it altered because she wears a zero one or so and uh, it's the most beautiful Tiffany blue you've ever seen it's just fabulous I checked it probably three times. There is nothing wrong with it. It's just got tears and tears of um, tulle. It's not big and, and you know billowy like a Cinderella dress, but it's it's just so beautiful. I love it, and I just couldn't leave it for twenty five dollars. And uh, if no one wears it, if I chicken out and don't wear it for the wedding. Uh, and my daughter doesn't like it for one of her proms because she's just going into high school, so I know she's going to have a ton of dances and proms and, and whatever, and she could even wear it as a costume. I mean, you never know. You could be Cinderella in this thing. I don't know. But I couldn't leave it, and uh, either way, it's going to go on Etsy if nobody likes it. And I think that was the definitely the buy of the day in the, uh, in the clothing category. Yeah, yes, definitely. Okay, what else do we have? I uh, think that I was going to do the jewelry. It's a lot of jewelry. I think I'm going to come back to the jewelry because it is a lot, and um, I think I'm running out of time. I don't like to make the videos more than 10 minutes. I feel like people have a, you know, a little bit of time, and they don't need to um, 
to sit around longer than 10 minutes. So let me come back and I'll bring you the jewelry, okay? Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.